What's up? It's RJ the Beast, and welcome to another episode of Thoughts from the Beast. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about friendship. You know, I don't know why friendship has to be connected with so many other things. Why is materialistic things have to do with it? Why are needs and things like that have to do with it? You know, why does it have to be that, you know, in order to be somebody's friend or something to be my friend, you know, there's got to be stuff attached to that. You know, my daughter had asked me the other day, she said, Dad, why doesn't my friend always associate with me? Why, why is it that we're better friends when it's just me and this person? You know, and why the why that every time that we're around somebody else, I feel like I'm not even part of a group or not even a friend. And, you know, to hear a young person say stuff like that, it makes it real hard to answer because really, in reality, <laughs> There's no logical answer except for maybe that the other person is selfish. And when you're dealing with kids and friendship, you know, you never really know what's going to come out of a young person's mouth. You never know what friendships are really associated around. You know, is it something that, that you have that they want? Is it something that, you know, that they feel when they're with you that they don't feel when they're not with you or they don't feel when they're around other people? You know, friendship should never be a way out. Friendship should always be involving people that really genuinely care about each other and have built a strong relationship and 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 really are pushing forward in their lives. Not and even as young people, you know, even even when you're talking about younger kids, you know, they need to understand too that, you know, friends as as a as a young person is very vital to who they become. You know, and who you associate with is very vital to who you become later on in life. You know, we cannot keep searching for people to be around us if it's the wrong people. You know, um, and there's many, many different types of people in the world. And a lot of times, negatives atta attached to negatives, positive people attached to positive people. But in reality, it's not always that. <clears throat> Sometimes, negatives will attach to positive people. Because the negative people are the ones that are alone and are the ones that are searching for something other than what's in their life right now. And really, you know, if they're searching for something, a lot of times it could be anything. It could be searching for uh, positive people in their lives to, to make them feel better about themselves because of the wrongs they've done. Or sometimes it could be that misery just loves company. And, and when I say that, I mean negative people in general don't live the happiest lives. And you can see that on social media. <clears throat> you can see that through the world. Just looking around, you go into a grocery store, go into um, you know the, the mall, go anywhere really. You can walk through a Walmart and see people that are unhappy and who they're associated with. And there's always going to be people just like them, or people that, that support the negativity. And what's sad about it, <clears throat> as a parent, when you hear your young person or your kids say, you know, I just don't know why or how do I become a better friend or this. A lot of times it's not them, it's the other people around them that cause them to feel this way. So, you know, try try this, you know, you, can, you shouldn't be having to, to change who you are to make friends like you. Whoever you are is who you really need to be all the time, you know. Negative people will eventually roll off of you, but the more you think about yourself, the more you think about positive outcomes for yourself and individualize life, meaning make it about you and 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 work and focus on good things for you, positive things in your life will come. Positive people will come because there are good people in the world. There are people in the world who attract to positives in their lives. <clears throat> and with those positives comes happiness because you cannot be happy and negative. You cannot be happy and look at everything you do in life as being um, unhappy or, or, or untrustworthy or, or not good because you cannot find the good in all evil. You cannot. There used to be an old saying that you could find good in all evil and that's really not the truth because nowadays in the way the world is, people choose to be good or bad. People choose to be who they are. <clears throat> and yes, association is key. Whoever you associate with, it could change the outcome of what you're thinking. It could change the outcome of who you're talking with and who you want to be around. But you need to choose that you associate with wisely because not every association is there for greater good or better yourself or anything like that. So 
You know, if you ever have a young person that comes to you and says things like, you know, why is my friend not really my friend? Why does my friend not want to come over if I don't have this or if I don't have that? Or why does my friend not want to hang around me when I'm around other people? Tell them this. You keep your head up and you keep smiling and you keep moving forward because no matter what, eventually people will realize that they are the negative ones and that you are the good person in their life. And then they'll come back to that. It's not always a good time to feel like you're alone. But if you're alone by your own choice because of things people are doing to you and you're genuinely a nice caring friend or a nice caring person to them, then eventually something's got to click in their head and they'll turn around, they'll come back. And you have to be the bigger person and you have to open your heart still. And you have to say, I forgive you and I want you in my life. And when you do that to certain people, it'll make them realize that maybe they were wrong. Maybe they were in the wrong. And I'm not a perfect person, guys. I don't ever admit to be a perfect person. I don't ever admit to be someone that's a perfect friend, a perfect husband, a perfect anything, a perfect father. I try my hardest to be perfect at everything I do. And I and, and, and I value being a father. But when you get questions like, why are these people not good to me all the time? It makes it real hard to answer to your kids because in reality, it's because not everybody in the world is good. Not everybody in the world means to do good. You know, so we have to be smarter. You know, common sense is not a learned trait any longer. We've got to teach common sense to our kids. We've got to teach happiness to our kids because in a world full of anger, in a world full of negatives, we've got to find the smiles. We've got to find the, the happiness. We've got to find the people in our lives that are really dealing with being unhappy or having a broken heart or suffering from loss or suffering from the same thing you are. People walking and turning their turn their backs on them. We've got to find the good and help them find the good in themselves. Because in reality, if you're not looking for good, the negative will always find you because it's human nature to float towards negativity because it's hard to find positives in a negative world. So you make sure you know and everybody knows, you tell the young people of the world that sometimes you've got to see through the wall, see through the small opening like a peephole in the door and find the good in the bigger area because it's out there and the people are out there and you can find them and you can be happy in a world like this. And you can be a perfect type of friend to somebody if you always make sure you don't change yourself to fall into things that they're doing that are not right. So with that being said, I'm happy to be friends with everybody out there. I'll take any comments you guys have. I will discuss any topic you guys want to discuss. This has been another episode of Thoughts from RJ the Beast. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys leave me a comment. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the Miss Sonia's channel. And me and DJ the Kid will see you later. Peace.